What is up guys, this is Joe with Optics, and this week we're going to be talking about the newest Borderlands game, Borderlands 3. It's been a while since we had a new Borderlands, and this one, thankfully, is just as good, if not better, than some of the other ones. They offer different game modes to play as looting, like the original Borderlands, where you have no communication and you kind of just steal what you want, or to make it a little bit more fair, which I thought was a neat addition to the game. My friends and I all hate each other, so we played on the original Borderlands way to play, and just spent most of the game arguing about who took whose loot. The way the game kicked off right off the bat felt like the old Borderlands, and I loved it. From so much as Marcus narrating it as usual, to getting off the bus and seeing Claptrap, and having to deal with his crazy shenanigans instantly. Even the intro as usual, with the usual psychos that are there, and the music and intro of everyone fighting it just felt great new and also a little bit nostalgic for the older ones as well this game you have four new and different characters which i actually kind of liked you have mose which who is a tiny girl that can summon a massive robot that you can jump in and so can one of your teammates which is really cool you also have amara who is a siren so enough said on that if you're familiar with the series but she just has different abilities and powers which i also really liked then you have zane which is just an irish man who's drunk half the time and can make clones of himself and summon robots which is just hilarious and typical borderlands and then you have this awesome robot who can actually just summon pets who has numerous different pets and all of them are very helpful and he was one of my favorites that i liked using it was a little bit odd to see these four characters and not have set classes as like the sniper, the tank, so so on and so forth. But it was also kind of nice at the same time because it meant if you saw a character that you thought just looked cool, you can play as them if you weren't exactly their kind of role. This game takes everything that was great about the other Borderlands and just amplifies it. There's so much more guns, grenades, just weapons in general, the shields... Everything that you loot is just so much more. It's just a lot. They kept the stuff from the other ones about being able to customize your character a little bit with colors and some small minor skins. This is one thing I just wish they did a little bit more of, being able to customize your character a little bit more in depth. But for how good the game is, it's one small minor nitpick that's not a big deal. The combat in this game is great and the way they give you guns to do different things, some like ricocheting to another enemy if you get a crit shot and things like that are really new, neat that i don't remember being in the other borderlands i mean i could be wrong now before we go too much in depth on all the things i liked there are two major things that drove me crazy for this game there are minor things at the end of the day but it's a made a big impact for me but still didn't make the game off the first one that drove me crazy was the split screen and this is the first Borderlands that instead of having a four-player local co-op, it had two. Now, maybe I'm just old-fashioned, but I love local co-op. And I had three people ready to play Borderlands 3, and then I popped it in and realized I couldn't play more than two people. So that part kind of sucked. Now, the second one is going to drive more people crazy than my first one. And that's the menus. If you're playing the game and someone is in a menu, and you're in combat, you guys are going to end up in a fight. There's no way to do a menu while without lagging your teammate, which I don't know why, but it happens, and it drives everyone crazy. Whenever one person opened up a menu, the other person started yelling at them right away. You had to find synchronized times to go into the menu, so that way, you know, you still had friends by the end of the game. Those were honestly the only real negatives that I had about this game. Which, if you think about it, isn't even that big of a deal. Because I do know there is a good amount of people who play Borderlands solo. So if you play solo, you might not have any issues with this game. But those were the only issues that I found. And they were kind of frustrating for me. But like I said, still nothing that didn't make me want to play the game. Now the story, I liked a lot. I just loved this one. I mean, I loved all the others, but something about this one I really liked a lot. The Calypso Twins were pretty good villains. They were major douchebags, so it just made you not like them. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be debating whether or not the Calypso Twins 
are on the same level as Handsome Jack. I'm not going to get into that debate. Both villains are great, I think. But let me know in the comments below which one you think is better. While we're talking about characters, this game had a lot of callbacks to the other ones. Which is something typical, but I felt like it had a lot more, which I actually liked. I noticed characters from all the other Borderlands games, which was awesome. Also, this game focused a lot more on Lilith than I expected, but that's not a bad thing. It felt like in some ways this was partially she was one of the main characters and focused heavily on her. But I liked that and I liked what they did with her character. I really liked this game in general. But don't worry, we are not going to go into spoilers at all. And all the gameplay you're seeing here is from the first half of the game. So no worries on that stuff. And this game had great bosses, as is usual for this series by now. Right off the bat, you had one. And it just kept getting cooler and cooler as the game went on. Certain bosses used or did certain things that you kind of had to strategize or think about how you were going to proceed with them. You couldn't just run in guns blazing without dying a few times if you did that. Of course, this game also introduces new characters as well. And none of the new characters I didn't like. They were all comical or interesting in their own ways, which I really appreciated. Also, just a quick disclaimer. Uh, the split screen footage you see, it's me and Ash playing. She's not very experienced when it comes to first person looter shooters. So we had it on simpler difficulties. I made sure we couldn't steal each other's loot because I would have ended up like these characters if I tried to. Now back to the reviewing. One thing they did add in the settings that I thought was pretty intriguing was the ability to shut off the gore. So all you kids that are watching this video that you are not over 18 to be watching or playing this, you know, you can take away some of the blood so you aren't as sadistic little pricks as you might be one day. In combat, it was awesome to see the variety of characters, some old, some new. All as frustrating as usual, which was a lot of fun, and this game was just great to play. This game was tons of fun, and I loved it, and it was even more enjoyable, like Borderland, every other Borderlands game, so much more fun while playing with other people. This game really added a lot more. There's different vehicles that I don't remember seeing in any other Borderlands, of course, there's numerous guns, shields, everything. They went all out for this game, and I loved it. Everything they add, added was great, fantastic, and just made the game that much more fun to play. The writing was great. The comedy was hilarious, as usual. Same characters you liked. Still gonna love them just as much. Characters who are jerks are, are jerks. That's it. <laughs> Claptrap is. Claptrap, just hilarious to be around. And if you like all the other Borderlands games, you're gonna love this one. Let me know down in the comments below who your favorite Borderlands character is. The side missions were also a lot of fun and some of them were just hilarious. Something as simple as getting a coffee shop back up and running and hearing the person rage at you for how much they need their coffee right now. Even something stupid, sounding stupid like that was a hilarious and enjoyable mission. Everything about this game was great, and we all at Op here at Optics loved the game. Except Ash. She didn't do very well with Skags or people attacking her at more than one at a time. They were scary! Be thankful we don't have the voice audio for that, so that way you can still have your eardrums. One thing they changed in this game was the fast travel, and at first, I hated it with a passion. Because I thought you had to go to Sanctuary... And then go to wherever you wanted to go. If, especially if you're going to a different planet. But then I learned you can actually just zoom out of the map and fast travel to anywhere. As long as you're in a, as long as you're not in a vehicle and you're fast traveling to a specific spot where you've already been at, you can go, which I thought was great. And another change they made to the map was not doing the Borderlands 2 route. Which is, if you can't, haven't been there, you don't know how the map looks. I didn't like that in Borderlands 2. There were too many times I went the wrong friggin' direction because I didn't know exactly how weird and complex a stupid map layout was. In this one, it's nice because you can see the whole map. You can't see where specific things are, like vehicle points and things like that. But you can see the map. And one thing that I also loved about the map is you can rotate it. So you can see how to get to some of these weirder areas 
and not having to climb up a mountain or going around this way. You can see all those specifics, which is great. So overall, this game was a blast. There's very little to complain about here. It is so much fun, especially if you play with others, which is the way I recommend to play every Borderlands. So you don't die like this alone with no one. It's sad. So let us know down in the comments below what you guys thought of Borderlands 3. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And also, we are on Instagram and Twitter, so feel free to follow us and hit us up on there. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.